Hi, everybody. My name is Noelle Ebert, and I'm your librarian here at Southwestern. Today, we're going to talk about how to do some industry research for your analysis project. So I'm just going to share my screen here, and we can get started. Great. So there are a few federal agencies that work together to create something called the North American Industry Classification System. And they assign special codes to particular industries. And that's going to help us when we are working in our library databases. First, I'm just gonna take us to that North American Industry Classification System website. Here we go. So you can see here at census.gov, this is where you can look this up. And up here they have a search bar where you can enter search terms or that special code if you happen to know it already. So I want to learn more about the video game industry. Let's see what we can find here. Just typing in my keyword and hitting go. All right, so it looks like there are a few related codes to the video game industry. Machines, wholesalers, software stores. Why don't we go with this overarching one? From here, you can learn a little bit more about this particular definition of this code, and you can see some corresponding industries related to it. The most I wanted to get out of this website is this special code though. So I'm going to copy and paste that and use it in our database research. Next, I'm going to go to the library website. There we go. And you can always find the library page on any Southwestern web page under the resources tab. Here we are. So if we want to look for our list of databases, you can go here to this Where to Research button. And here is our list. We have access to about 120 different databases, but we're just going to focus on a couple today. Everything is listed in alphabetical order on this page. And the first database we're going to look at is Business Insights Essentials. You can just click the link here to get in. So I am on campus right now, and that means it automatically logs me into the system and I'm ready to go. But you can log into these resources from wherever you are at any time there is gonna be a message that prompts you to enter your seven digit SWOC ID number. Now, if your ID number is shorter than seven digits, add zeros to the front until it's seven digits long. That's what the system is looking for. Great, so now that we're in, we can simply do a search. I'm going to paste that code I got from the website earlier and see what happens. Fantastic. So this is showing us a variety of information. The first place I want to look at is the industry content. I'm going to click on this heading. Great. And it is going to give me some basic information and important statistics related to this industry. I'm not surprised to see Nintendo here at the top, very important video game company. You can also see a variety of industry reports, and these will be really good resources for your paper. You just click on the link, and it'll pop up here in full. You can read it right here in the databases if you choose, but you can also download to save for later and you can also print here. If we scroll down just a little bit further, it is even going to generate a citation that you can include in your bibliography. Just choose whatever style format you prefer 
or your teacher tells you, and you can copy and paste this right into the end of your document. But you should always double check that everything is capitalized correctly, that it has the right punctuation, because sometimes the databases miss little details like that. So definitely double check it with your style guide or the OWL Purdue website. Really good resources for making sure your papers are the best they can be. So we're just gonna exit back and we could continue to see other related industries to the one we're working on. And then down here, it's gonna get us back to that big pool of all the content types that we can explore. Some others that will be useful to you are other market research reports that you can click here. So this looks like it's gonna give a series of international resources about game consoles and related products. Just going back to the other options, you might also consider case studies or market share and rankings all really excellent resources for your paper. So continue to explore in this database. This is pretty much all there is to it. But I wanna show you one other resource as well. We're gonna go back to our database homepage and we're going to take a look at Business Source Complete. There's gonna be a lot of similar and overlapping information here but this database is brought to us by a different company than the one we explored earlier. So there are going to be some unique properties. I still have that code pasted. You can also choose to search by a variety of criteria, including that NAICS option. Great. Oh, wow. So it looks like we have almost 50,000 results. Now that's better than zero, but probably a little bit more than we want to wade through right now. One of the nice things about library databases are the options they give us to limit these results. So we can really hone in on the things that are most important to us to learn. A good limiter to start with is this full text box. Now it's only going to show us items where we can read the whole thing in full right now. That's really useful if you don't have a lot of time before your due date, but if you have a few, work, a few weeks before your assignment is due, you might consider leaving that box unchecked. We can always order articles from other libraries we usually get those emailed as PDFs and they can come in relatively quickly. So if you have the leeway, consider that option. It might help you find some really excellent articles. You can also sort by publication date. So let's say we're only interested in the last 10 years of publications. You can just slide here. Or we can also type in those little boxes, the, do, the, the year ranges that we're interested in. Another thing that I like to look at are the source types. This is very similar to what we saw in the other database. I'm gonna go to show more. And in this pop-up window, I can see all of the general types of resources we have in here. And specifically, industry profiles might be useful. You might also consider SWOT analyses if you're looking into maybe individual companies who participate in your industry. All right, so this is a much easier number to digest. We're only looking through about 300 resources here. You can climb through these results to take a look. If there's an article that catches your eye, you can click the title and you can read a little bit more about this resource here. I can see who published it. I can see how long it is. 
I can see related companies and subject terms that would help increase my results. And shoot, I even see that NAICS code here too. There's also a short summary that you should always read before diving into your article. I can read this sentence in about 10 seconds, but it's going to take me a couple of hours to go through this 50 page report. Make sure you know what you're getting into before you dive in. And just like the other database, you can look at the articles straight here, or you can download it or print it for later. I'm gonna go back. And you can also get a citation for your bibliography for this resource. Go over to the right side tools and you're going to choose the cite button. And just like in the other database, you can scroll down to the style guide of your choice and copy and paste that into the end of your document after you double check it with the OWL Purdue, of course. One other tool to show you on the right side of the page is this permalink button. When I clicked that, this came up with a web address that will always bring me back to this page. If you want to view this article for later, save this link, don't use it from here. In this search bar, we're logged into a, a resource behind a password protection. So this is randomized and it will change. It will not take us back to this page if we visit it again. Always use your permalink to get back if you don't download it for later in the first place. All right, well, that brings me to the end of what I wanted to show you. If you have any more specific questions, please don't be a stranger. Come see me in Tioga too, or shoot me an email or give me a phone call. We can also set up an individual Zoom meeting too. So good luck on your research. You can do it. Have a great day.